Do you believe in miracles? Well, I do. And this trip is proof that miracles do exist. My wedding was May 31st, June 2nd. And May 17th, I packed up my bag and headed to Lagos from the US to go get married. It was a dream come true. But of course, like with every good thing God intends to do, the devil tends to strike. Basically, I won't be able to fly today. I'm going for my wedding. It's not an hour person's wedding. It's my wedding. And I'm not going to be able to fly. But he did not win. This is a story of how I was victorious and made it for my wedding in one piece. Enjoy. Leaving Athens, saying goodbye. I've lived here for three years. I'll be back though. I've not graduated. <laughs> But yeah, going to Nigeria. <laughs> wow. Look at life. By the time we see you, you'll be a whole married woman. Oh, imagine wife. that. Oh, I don't even I'll know when I'm wife. seeing you, but. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> God will do it. God will do God it. Will do it. <laughs> so, this is our driver. His name is Kofi. He's taking us. <laughs> and this is Lola Day, passenger princess. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the car that we are hoping will take us. <laughs> this is the last thing I need from this car. Just take me there. <laughs> I'm going to get married and wow so there's a lot to say about all that went wrong or could have gone wrong and I'm gonna settle down and give you guys some gist but now the important thing is I've checked in and I'm all set okay so yes I am sitting at Columbus Airport um, leaving from here I'm going through Qatar, so what's going to happen is I'm going to go from Columbus to New York, which is JFK, and then from JFK to Doha, <laughs> and then to Lagos. I've never done Qatar, so this is a new one for me, so hopefully everything goes well. But yes, to the gist, it's even stressful to recount what happened. So I booked my ticket to Nigeria on the 15th of February. I always like to book early. This is May 17th and I booked February because obviously you want a cheaper deal. I've never done Qatar. I always do Delta, but I wanted a cheaper deal. So I booked it and I just left it. I got my confirmation. I got my ticket. I got my receipt. I got everything. So I just abandoned it. Now, yesterday, I wanted to check in. You know you can check in online 24 hours before the time of the flight. So I wanted to check in. Only for me to realize that it wasn't letting me check in. Almost like it wasn't finding my reservation code. So because I've not gone with Qatar before, I figured maybe something was wrong. Maybe they don't check in with Qatar. Maybe that's not a thing for them. Like, I don't know. I just figured I would fi figure it out at the airport. But I was staying over at my friend's place, shout out to you, Lebo, in Columbus. And she just said, call them. This was 10 p.m. Mind you, my flight this morning is 6 a.m. This is um, 4.36. My flight is 6.31. So we were always going to leave very, very early. And so she just said, call them. That was 10.30 p.m. yesterday. 
and I'm so glad I listened. Do you know that I called these people only for them to tell me that my ticket, my booking was cancelled and they can't find my um, reservation number or whatever and basically I won't be able to fly today. I'm going for my wedding. It's not another person's wedding. It's my wedding and I'm not going to be able to fly. I was like, these people are kidding. First of all, I not cancel anything. Secondly, there was no cancellation email sent to me. So what exactly are we saying? There was no refund. They took my money, everything. So my hand is paining me. <laughs> so it became like, how are we going to handle this? This is crazy. I spoke to one customer rep. He said he did everything he could. He now said that he can get me back the ticket. I need to pay something, something, the installment fee for $500. Me. $500 after spending all the money I spent on the ticket you will not pay another 500 why obviously that was not an option so I decided that um, well I told him I wanted to speak to his supervisor thank God thank God see that thing they used to do in the movies can I speak to your manager do it do it do it do it do it you will like it it will save you so I told him can I speak to his supervisor so spoke to the supervisor the supervisor was like okay they're gonna help me i should expect them to get me back to me in six hours i'm like this is 10 30 p.m my flight is 6 a.m you want to get back to me in six hours how so i was like that's not going to work for me okay so let's try it like this because my hand is paining me yeah so six hours like no that's not gonna work for me so the next thing was now let's um so i was like is there anything you can do for me now because six hours doesn't work for my timeline so he gave me a number he was like these are the people that can attend to you immediately so i called the number when i called the number these people actually put me on hold for a very long time and then they came back um, after taking all my details and all he came back he was like um that they forwarded everything it has to be approved before i can get a ticket blah 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 i was like and then he said in the next how many hours i was like guy my flight is 6 30. so basically he now said i has forwarded everything he has expedited it that if in the next two hours i don't get anything i should call them and also it has to be approved for this to work so i'm like imagine if they don't approve it that means I go those day America, they go they marry me. I go day yeah. I'll be. I don't know if the marriage go hold. <laughs> so I was now like, okay, this was now 11 p.m. So I went to sleep, and I set an alarm for 1 a.m. That I will wake up by 1 a.m. and I will check. I couldn't even really sleep well. I think I woke up before the 1 a.m. and then I just checked. I saw a new email with new tickets, whatever, whatever. And then I now try to load the reservation code on their website and thankfully it was now working as in it could now pop up the flights and everything. Although the seats I selected did not really give me, but I'll be figuring that one out later. Important thing is that I am going for my wedding. See, I really feel like the devil tried. Like I really, really feel like I know that this girl, my, they are going to say I sound like MFM, but you... What are the odds? I've been traveling. I've been doing so many flights. This has never happened. The day that I am now flying to go and marry is the day that the devil tried. Oh, he tried. He tried. He tried. But God is bigger. God is bigger. Ah, ah. <laughs> what would I have said? Would they have canceled? Like, would we? They were telling me to pay an extra $500. From where? So i just give god the glory that's all i'm saying i just give god the glory because i don't even know where i would have yeah thank god thank god so yeah that's it and by the way it's literally less than three weeks i think right now it's like 15 days to the wedding so we can't be joking we can't actually be playing like this anyways yeah like i said it's like um, a few minutes to five and my flight is 6 31 so i'm early i've checked in i had to pay for excess luggage with this fine it's as far as i'm going it's okay i just thank god for how everything went it could have gone worse than it did so i'm very very grateful um and i'm just going to wait you know chill for my flight to 
for it's time for when it's time to board i can see my gate is just there um i wanted to make this video so that's why i'm not at my gate but yeah glory to god help me attend god that's how i would have missed my wedding well i mean i know i'm being dramatic but you get my point <laughs> guys so after flying for 12 hours i made it to doha so i'm at the airport in qatar it's actually beautiful so what everybody has said about it being beautiful is true i'm walking to my gate i think it's gonna be far because it's really big so i'm just walking down there because they feed you so much in the flight i don't feel like eating anything so i'm not gonna buy anything i'm just gonna walk down to my gate and yes another nine hour flight to nigeria current aircraft and the nicest thing happened let me show you i have the entire road to myself i can put my legs up i'm so happy because this nine hour flight is not a joke so yep i get to chill beyond excited love it for me this is my own little business class area in economy Yeah, people are looking at me because I'm vlogging, but who cares? I'm not gonna see them.
This is my the only sister I have in this world. I cannot respect anymore. See, that's the thing. Tell me about how she looks. That's all. That's that's the game.